Well, good evening YouTube, and it is time for the Flawed Housewives Random Rant. And um, today I'm going to do my random rant about Saskatoon, because I am moving. So I thought it would be a good opportunity to sit down and, and just hash out some of my memories. Well, yeah, it was, a, it was an interesting time at one point, uh, back in the day before I had kids. Yes, there was a day before I had kids and a husband. I used to live on 22nd Street. Now that place was crazy. I mean, I loved it because, I mean, it was a quaint little apartment that I had and all that stuff. And I had uh, I had the luxury of sitting down and uh, playing video games in my long johns, smoking some wacky tobacco. <laughs> I'd play Nintendo till all hours of the day and night, but that was that's a different story. Anyways, upon living on 22nd Street, I have seen two murders, well, right, I didn't see them, but they were right outside my door, and uh, some muggings, muggings were always fun, uh, yeah, anyways, the McDonald's, the McDonald's definitely rings a bell, um, bell? yes, Charity, a bell, <laughs> McDonald's rung a bell, because I would go there after work, every day after 10, roughly 10 o'clock p.m. at night, and it was McNightmare. Oh, I never thought it was possible because McDonald's was always such a happy place for me. It was always, you know, just a time of adventure and fun. But no, this McDonald's after 10 o'clock was littered with condoms on the floor. Yes, McDonald's had condoms on the floor and junkies. Gotta love those junkies. Just all kinds of things that you wouldn't think would happen happened at McDonald's at after 10. So yeah, it was definitely McNightmare. And uh, yeah, I survived it. I was, here's to surviving 22nd Street. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible, <laughs> considering all that has happened on 22nd Street. But, yep, here I am. Uh, don't quite play Nintendo quite like I used to, and I don't wear dirty long johns anymore. And I certainly don't go to McDon McNightmare. But you know what, McNightmare? I will miss you. You will have a little piece of my heart. You've changed my total view of McDonald's, probably for the rest of my life. Anyways... Peace and have a good night.